Alright guys, I'm going to show you a quick video of me uploading a high definition video to YouTube. So, first thing you do is make your video. I happen to use Cam Studio to make mine. Um, then I opened up Windows Movie Maker and I want to import media in here to make my video. Um, this one is gone. I uploaded it already. It's done. It'll be in, if you're using Cam Studio, it'll be in your program files, Cam Studio, Go ahead and find it, import, and it'll be there pretty quickly. Give it a sec. All right, here it is. Um, I have no transitions or different frames or anything, so I'm just going to drag it to right there. That is it. No intro. That's just it. It'll show up in a preview. What I want to do now is publish the video. So you can go File, Publish Movie, Control P, or just Publish Movie here. Publishing it to my computer. I will call it my AeroSnap tutorial. Hopefully this will work in high definition. I selected more settings instead of the best quality which is by default and I set Windows Media Player HD 720p 5.9 megabytes per second. Very good quality and it's in 1280 by 720 which is perfect for YouTube HD. Other resolutions uh, include these right here 640 by 360, 900 by 600, 1088 by 612 and 1280 by 720. So I'm going to publish that and I'll go ahead and pause the video and bring it back when the movie is done publishing. It takes a few minutes, but it's worth the wait. So here we go. Alright, we're almost done here. It says we have about 50 seconds remaining, but no need to fast forward. I will pause it again. Come back right when we finish. So give it a sec. Alright, it has finished publishing the movie, and as you can see it says the movie has been published. Um, now what this does is it puts the file on in your my computers, or in my my videos folder on your my, uh, your computer, can't talk today, and it saves it in a 1280 by 720 resolution, which is perfect for watching them on YouTube. So, uh, I don't need to play the movie when I click finish, because I know what I'm doing here. Finish. And you can exit this without saving it because we just saved it. And I'll show you exactly where it is. It's in Marcus, which is me, the user, and in my videos, there it is. This is my AeroSnap tutorial. So, when you're done with this, uh, open any internet browser. I'll use Safari this time. Open up, obviously, you'll probably know these final few steps if you've used an account before. Uh, choose a video file. You're uploading a video file and choose the file. You will find them in program files. Scroll to Cam Studio and select and open your AeroSnap tutorial. Press the button that says upload video and it'll start uploading an AVI, which is exactly what you want. So I'll type in my title. and it is as you can see uploading I will bring these right back when it is completed this will usually take a few minutes it's not gonna be instant it's gonna take a few minutes uh, depending on the size and the length of your video so we'll come back um, when this is done also I just want to show you when you're done uh, actually typing in all your information for the title description etc about the video just hit the save changes button it'll continue to work on the uploading as you do that so I'll be back in a minute success this is what it looks like when your tutorial or your video in HD AVI format is successfully saved and uploaded okay I'm going to go to my videos right now just to see if it is there and it will say at first for the first few minutes it'll say uploaded and processing please wait when it is done it will say live, like all the rest of my videos say live. Uh, by the way, subscribe so you can get. I'm I'm making videos like crazy right now. Um, this is an AVI format. Don't expect when it plays, it's not going to first have. Uh, when you first get the video, it's not going to first have this watch in HD link. It's just going to be in terrible quality for a little while. But after a while, you'll get the watch in HD link, and you can watch it in full YouTube. 1280 by 720 uh, high definition format. So 
Uh, it's a really, really sweet feature, and I'm going to use it to make the rest of my tutorials. Um, this is pretty much all that I can show you. Uh, if you follow those steps, you should have a number of options. I'll go over them again for Camp Studio when you're actually recording these videos. You should have the you should have the DivX codec, the DivX 6.8.5 codec. You're going to want to have it on 100% quality. And again, check auto adjust and drag it to as close as you can to 30 frames per second. And I configured it to the 720HD profile, which makes perfect sense. Um, and I use my region. Uh, right now I'm using 1280 by 720. Of course, I mentioned before you can always use one of the following resolutions. I showed it to you earlier in the video, so just, you know, pause it, take it down. That's what it is. Um, so yeah, enjoy your high definition videos. Thank you. Subscribe. Peace.